Hi everyone, this is Karen Hightower, design team member for Gina K Designs. Today I'm going to share with you a gift bag project. It is really quick and easy to make and I'm going to make a ornament as well. You can either make a gift tag with it or you can put a snowflake on each side and use it as an ornament. And I'm going to layer it so it'll be thick so it'll it'll work as an ornament. So the products I'm using are Gina K Designs Connect Glue. I'm using the Turquoise Sea and the Sea Glass Premium Dye Inks. I'm using the Stamp Set Sparkling Snowflakes from the Fruit of the Season Stamp TV Kit that was just released. <clears throat> I also have, let me move that out of the way. I have the dies that came in the set. I'll be using these three along with the background uh, Delicate Snowflakes is the name of this one. I really love this red rubber background. It's, I just, it won't go far from the desk. Let's just say that. Um, I also have some layering pieces. This is the Turquoise C, the layering weight white, and I have them in different sizes. I'll list the sizes below the video. And then I have a gift bag. I believe it's like, so let me measure it real quick for you. I bought these on Amazon, but I also have some that I picked up at the big box stores. Okay, this is eight by five and a half. And if you, um, they're not that expensive and you can use your coupon, but they're just really fun to make. Um, I have my little Misty. I have my original Misty and I already have a snowflake in this one. I have some snowflakes on the blocks. I will be using a hole punch. And I have my Gina K Designs adhesive dot runner that's almost empty and I'm about out. So I need to reorder some of that. Anyway, so let's get started. I will show you any other products that I use. I'll show you as we go along. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is I'm going to set the bag to the side for now until I get ready to attach everything. I have a piece of scrap paper too for my snowflakes. So I wanna do the background first. So let me get out my larger Misty. And you don't have to have a Misty to do this. Um, you can easily lay your background stamp down, ink it up, and then just put your cardstock on it, put a piece of paper over it and rub it, which is fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove the backing place it in my Misty, and I'm going to ink it up with sea glass. I want to do a lighter blue for this one. So I am going to lay this down, and I forgot to do something. I have some repositionable dot adhesive stuff. I'm going to put just a little bit on there. So when I close the lid, if I have to re-ink it, it'll be in the same spot. Yes, and I missed a snowflake down here. I'm going to go in here and ink this up, re-stamp it. There we go, much better. And because I use the repositionable tape on this, it comes off pretty easy. You can just kind of roll that up, and throw it in the trash. Okay, so I'm going to grab my turquoise C, and I'm going to attach that with my adhesive dot runner. And I'm using this sparingly now because I used it so much, <laughs> I overuse it. You know, my thought is a little's good, a lot's better on some things. Well, sometimes on dot runners and glue, I have a tendency to add more than I probably need. So now I'm running out and I have to use it sparingly. Okay, so we have that done. I'm going to set that one aside. Let's do the snowflakes real quick because I need two of the larger one and I know it's sticking out but it'll be all right okay so I'm gonna ink this up in turquoise see make sure it's in the corner there we go and I need to because I need a front and a back to my ornament so I'm gonna ink it up again real well and going to stamp it make sure everybody comes in contact with the paper there we go small little snowflake 
ink it up. I'm just going to stamp it. And I'll die cut these in a moment. This one's really pretty in the scrolls. It has little holly leaves at the end of the snowflake and in the center, which I thought was really pretty and unique. There we go. See the little holly leaves? Okay, so we're just going to this over here like so. I just eyeball it. I'll center this one and the little baby one. And I'm going to run this through the die cutting machine and I'm not going to make you listen to that really loud thing. <laughs> so I will be back in a moment. So I have all my snowflakes cut. Let me take the tape off of them. And sometimes when I'm doing this, I will go ahead and stamp out a whole bunch and die cut a whole bunch. So when I get ready to make another card and I need them, they're all ready to go. And I don't have to stop and um, cut them. I cut them. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my small panel. And I'm going to use the, if hugs were snowflakes, I'd send you a blizzard. I love that greeting. So let's stamp this in the turquoise sea real quick. There we go. Clean off my misty. And then I'm going to stamp the little swirly thing underneath it. Okay, so if you're ever trying to get a stamp to get straight on your misty or anywhere you're trying to line it up and it sticks to you, grab you a pencil and just touch it. <laughs> And it'll help, you can move it around, and usually it don't stick to the pencil like it does your finger. Because no sooner than I get it where I want it, then it sticks to my finger, <laughs> and I have to redo it. So, all right, let's see how that turns out. Okay, we're going to use turquoise C on this. There's only two colors of ink for this whole project, which is great. And I did this one in the turquoise and sea glass, but... In my house at Christmas, I like to do red and white. So I'll show you a gift bag I made at the end of the video with the red and white. So here we have the greeting and I'm going to go ahead and layer it on this panel. Remember, I'm just using a little bit here because I'm about out. <laughs> Otherwise I would all over it. So. Let me grab the gift bag. Now, <clears throat> I did one. Let me go ahead and show you. Where's it at? I did one in Plum Punch. And I stamped the background with the um, background stamp. And all I did was ink it up in Plum Punch. And I just laid the bag on it. And because the bag's longer, I had to do it in two parts. But there's, you know, little mess ups. Because where these or in the bag, it's hard to get it to stamp straight or down here where it folds, but you put the layer on top of it and you really can't tell. I did heat and boss this in white, but I didn't wipe off the plum punch fast enough apparently and it stained it, but it's a beautiful color. So I thought that'd be a nice non-traditional gift bag. So we're going to just attach this one. I am going to use my connect glue because I want it to just be extra and I want to use <laughs> lots I don't have enough of the tape runner to do that so connect glue it is everybody straight so then we're going to pop this up and I've got some foam squares here I'm just going to attach four oh five one in the middle alrighty then I'm gonna take my connect glue and just put a little dot up here then I'm gonna put this one at the bottom. And then you can go and take some bling and you can use Nouveau Drops. You can use any kind of bling you have or want to use, or you don't have to have any, you know, it, that's up to you. You could do a, um, like a wink of Stella. Okay. So there's the gift bag. And then I'm going to take the two that I stamped and I have now 
if you want to make the ornament really heavy, cut out the snowflakes in a heavy base weight um, white. But if it don't matter and you want them thinner, that's fine too. I thought these would be really cute to put inside of a Christmas card. You know, so people will get a little extra gift that you might not be sending one to. I know I don't have money to send to everybody I would love to send a gift to. But I thought, oh, these little ornaments might be nice to do. And they could hang them on their tree or not. <laughs> they could give them to someone else. Okay, so we have those glued together. And then I'm just going to... Now, putting the little string through there when I made the first one, so I poke it with the little poker tool, and then I take, I have this little hole punch. It's small. I don't know if you can see that, but it's tiny. So I use that and just did each layer. I'm going to be brave and try to do these all at once. I still, still have to put the other one on the back. So let me see if I can get these cut. There we go. And then I'll just do the last one when I get it on there. So then I have a little bit of twine that I will cut a piece off. And if you want to use this as a tag, you don't have to put the back part on it. You can just do it one layer and then you can write on it to and from or a little message. Okay, and so then I grab some more bling and I'm going to add bling around here. This is these are the iridescent ones, which are really pretty because they pick up a lot of different light. But they're not small enough for me. I really like the tiny ones. And then you can do both sides. I'll put one in the middle over here. And then you just attach it to your bag. If I wanted it for a tag, I would tie it up shorter so it would hang about right there. So here's the one I made for the release. Since I do red and white at my house for all my presents, this one has a tag on it. See, I didn't do the back. But this is the one I did for the release. And I used all the stamps in the set to stamp this background instead of using the background set. So, if you don't have the background and you have the kit, you can just use all the different snowflakes to create your own background. And this is an ornament as well. And I did blue in between there. I don't know if you can see it instead of white, which is really nice and different. But that one's got lots of little bling on it. Anyway, I thank y'all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And be sure to visit us over at Stamp TV and Gina K Designs Facebook Friends Group. And I will see you again soon. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.